Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to Wonder Kids Academy. Are you ready for a splashy science adventure? Today, we are going to learn something super fun and exciting. We are going to discover floating and sinking objects. Have you ever dropped a toy into water and watched what happened? Did it stay on top of the water or did it go all the way down to the bottom? That is what floating and sinking are all about. Let's dive in and explore together. What does floating mean? Floating means something stays on top of the water. It does not go down. It does not disappear. It stays right there, like it is resting on the water. Think about a rubber duck in the bathtub. When you place it in the water, what happens? Yes, it floats. The duck stays on top and gently moves around. Other things that can float, examples, a leaf, a plastic bottle, a sponge, a wooden stick. Floating objects like to stay on the water and say, I'm not going down. What does sinking mean? Sinking means something goes down to the bottom of the water. It does not stay on top. It sinks. Splash. Imagine dropping a small rock into water. What happens? That's right. The rock goes straight to the bottom. The rock sinks. Other things that sink, examples, a stone, a coin, a metal spoon, a marble, sinking objects say, down we go. Please take a second to like our video. This helps our algorithm so that other boys and girls can see our videos and learn these fun things that you are learning too. Now back to our video, floating versus sinking. Look at the water carefully. Some objects float and some objects sink. Isn't that interesting? But why does this happen? Let's find out. Why do some objects float? Some objects float because they are light or have air inside them. Air helps objects stay on top of the water. For example, a ball has air inside, a sponge traps air, a boat is made to hold air. Air is like a helper that pushes the object up. That's why many toys float during bath time. Why do some objects sink? Some objects sink because they are heavy and do not have air inside. Water cannot hold them up, so they go down. For example, a rock is heavy, a coin is solid, a metal toy is dense. These objects are too heavy for the water to push up, so they sink. Let's play a guessing game. Let's play a fun game together. Before putting an object in water, let's guess, will it float or will it sink? You can try guessing. A toy car. Will it float or will it sink? Yes, it will sink. A plastic cup. Will it float or will it sink? Hum. It will float. A pencil. Will it float or will it sink? It will float. A key. Will it float or will it sink? It will sink. Great job, little explorers. Science is fun when we guess and explore. Can the same object float and sink? Yes. Sometimes the same object can float and sink. Let's look at the clay. Roll the clay into a ball. It sinks. Shape the clay like a bowl. It floats. Why? Because the bowl shape traps air. Air helps it float. How cool is that? Floating objects in real life. Floating is very important in our everyday lives. Boats float so people can travel on water. Life jackets float to keep people safe. Floating toys make swimming fun. If boats sank, people couldn't cross rivers or oceans. Floating helps us explore the world. Sinking objects in real life. Sinking objects are important too. Anchors sink to hold boats in place. Some animals dive and sink to swim underwater. Submarines sink and float to explore the deep sea. Both floating and sinking help us in different ways. Let's review what we learned. Let's remember these things. Floating means staying on top of water. Sinking means going to the bottom. Light objects or objects with air often float. Heavy objects often sink. Guessing and testing makes learning fun. You are amazing scientists. Next time you are in the bath, at the pool, or playing near water, look around and ask yourself, is this floating or sinking? Keep asking questions. Keep exploring. Keep learning. Science is everywhere, and you are doing a fantastic job discovering it.
Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you all have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids like you. And see you in our next video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos like this. Please also visit us at www.wonderkidsacademy.info and see more of what we are all about. Thanks again for watching our video.